My name is Dimitris Adansopoulos and I'm PhD candidate at the National Capitalistic University of Athens. My work focuses on the most ancient asteroid families of our solar system that have been discovered. Going back in time, the first stages of our solar system, many questions are raised that remain unanswered. In the protoplanetary disk, the dust particles thicken, collide, shatter, form the peoples. After the peoples, the planetesimal took place. The mechanism of the formation are still under debate in the scientific community. Later, the first protoplanets were formed. Again, we did not know with certainty how they formed. After the depletion of the gas, our planetary system suffered from gravitational instabilities affecting all the small bodies. Thus, it is difficult to understand also how the asteroid belt was at the beginning. To answer all these questions, we have to focus on the asteroids. Are asteroids just rocks floating in space? Let's consider uh, the asteroids as large dots, the bright ones from the inner solar system and the dark ones for coming from outer solar system. During the first stage of our solar system, the planetesimals from different regions were mixing. Some of them were broken up to small fragments via collisions. The fragments may cause new collisions, and so on. The fragments, uh, the asteroids of the same family, have similar orbits, so they form clusters, but the families disperse over time, and they disperse and they disperse until we cannot recognize any cluster. How can we find asteroid families after billion years since the formation? To answer this, we have to take into account the Yarkovsky effect. Apart from gravitational forces, the small bodies are affected by also thermal ones. The Yarkovsky effect is a thermal radiation force that causes semi-major axis drift in a time scale of a million years. The illumination heats up the sunward side of the asteroid, the heat is radiated back into space. The asteroid emits thermal radiation with a delay due to its thermal inertia built in an Earth thermal force. As a result, the procreate asteroids to drift outwards, while the retrograde asteroids to drift inwards. The Yarkovsky effect is dependent on the asteroid's obliquity, rotation, size, thermal properties of its surface, and the distance from the Sun. So, the current view of the asteroid belt seems like this. We cannot easily identify very old asteroid families or planetesimals, like asteroids that remain pristine for billion years. What can we do? Okay, let's go to paper and draw two axes. The horizontal axis to be the distance from the Sun and the vertical one, the asteroid size. Then we will see that members of the same family form a characteristic V shape due to the Yarkovsky effect. As smaller is the asteroid, so larger is the drift from the center of the Sun, of the family. The dots outside of the V shape that are not belong to any other family represent the planetesimals. But are these V shape real families? Based on this method, the three families have been discovered in the inner main belt, the primordial family, the author family, and the zeta family. The first and the latter one could be as old as our solar system. However, these families should be independently verified. The best way is to determine the spin direction of the asteroids in the different sides of the V-shape through photometric observations. The members of the inward side of the V-shape of families should be retrograde opposites and the vice versa for outward side. Going to observatories, we can observe asteroids of the same family. The spin and the irregular shape of the asteroid allow us to see variations in reflected sunlight, the so-called light curves. Our aim is to observe the asteroid in different positions in its orbit and to obtain light curves. Combine all these light curves, we can create a shape model for the asteroid and they reveal the spin state, if it's a prograde or retrograde. This process should be done for a large number of asteroids that belong to these, the most ancient families. Until then, we can still wonder uh, if are these families are real or how, ancient how many ancient families are missing.